Perhaps you feel that all the features of an LMS are overkill for your blended classroom. Well, you can design meaningful online learning experiences for your students using other free and simple alternatives. Social learning tools are a great way to engage your students and connect the home to school. These tools resemble other social networking websites like Facebook or Google+, but are designed to support classroom activities and provide a protected K-12 focused environment. In fact, many of these social learning sites offer many of the features you find in a learning management system, like a grade book, Dropbox for assignments, quizzes, and class calendars. However, instead of content being the central focus, the social interaction between students and teachers is the focus of these interfaces. Some popular social learning sites that have free options for teachers include Edmodo, My Big Campus, and Schoology. Wikis also offer an easy way to build online learning opportunities for your students. Wikis include any website that is collaboratively created or edited. You may use a wiki for organizing a learning experience for your students, or you may ask students to build a wiki to demonstrate specific knowledge and skills. Two popular wiki tools come to mind when I make recommendations to teachers, including Wikispaces and PBWorks. Another intuitive alternative to a learning management system is a simple WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get, web page creator. One of my personal favorites is Weebly. You can click and drag features onto your web page, including videos and files. I've also used Google Sites to organize learning experiences for my students. These WYSIWYG website creators are not only great for housing learning content for your students, but they're also great tools that your students can use to be active in their own learning by creating websites of their own. All of the tools I mentioned here have a free option for K-12 teachers. They also all have tutorial videos and user guides. I've provided a list of links in our course materials to help you get started. Spend some time browsing these links and imagine how you might use these tools to organize a unit, lesson, or module of instruction in your class.